Let's learn how to get collision detection working with flutter and flame. In this example, we're only using three images to keep it simple. The first image you'll use is a background image. It's just a single image. We're going to call it background.png. The second image is an image of a girl that looks like she's from a northern area. So we're going to call her north underscore girl dot png. The final image you'll use is a girl from a warmer area, probably a southern tribe. So we'll call her south underscore girl dot png. We're going to put all three images onto your game screen, move the girls, and when they collide, we'll remove the south underscore girl dot png. To keep it simple, we're not going to cover techniques such as starting off with a background and then placing individual objects like signposts on it. Uh, we're not going to try to cut out a, a tile sheet or use tile D. We're just going to use the three images I showed you in the previous slide and build our demo application that way. Let's start from the very beginning and just create a new project. I'm going to delete everything in main.dart. All we have here is the my uh, run app and the non-existent my app. I'm going to import flame. I'm going to use the pre-release release candidate 8. In the assets section, I'm going to add uh, assets images. Then I'm going to move my three files in here. In assets images, I have the background, I have the north girl, and I have the south girl. I'm going to import flame. Start with the game. Create a variable to instantiate the game. Run the game widget. We're going to need to load up the uh, assets here, so we'll just get it set up. The assets are loaded in the onload method.
So I'm going to put a, a print statement here just to make sure that this method does run. Should be blank. We have a completely blank uh, screen, which is what we want. Let's try to get the background in. Let's load the onload uh, method. So to get the sprite, it's sprite component. I'm going to use the cascade operator to actually load the sprite in. So the sprite here is a keyword. Load sprite is from flame and then it's the name of the file. So I just change this to background.png. It's not appearing, there's no size. Use another cascade operator, there's a keyword size. I'm actually going to assign it to the size of the background. Not it appears. This size is from the, the my game has a uh, size property. So that's why I can access it here. This size refers to the size of the sprite component. So the background image, I'm just using it as a sprite component now, and I'm displaying it at the same size as the actual game image. Let's get the other sprites in. I'm gonna set up a separate class for each of the sprites to make it a little simpler instead of... Uh, so we'll just have the it's a class name, right? So you, you create a class, a new class for in this case, um, it's just one character, the North Girl, and it's a sprite component. I'm going to set up a constructor to get the sprite because it has to load from um, when, when you load the game. I'm going to set the size of this, the uh, North Girl, the one with the furry jacket, 200 by 100. So this is the, the size of the character on the screen. Um, you don't need the anchor. I'm just, I'm gonna set it because I want greater control of where the collision takes place. And this is her position on the screen. The first vector was her size. So my phone is in landscape mode. I'll put it about six hundred. We have to load the sprite. Okay, north. It's near your file. And hopefully it loads. Okay, she's right here. Um, 
the way I set it up, I actually want her facing the other way, so I'm going to flip her. Okay, so she's flipped, and I'll, I'll introduce the uh, south girl from this direction here. At this stage, I'll just copy it. It's new the file. Okay, I uh, want her facing the other way too. I'm going to flip it. add the collision stuff in uh, first thing is to go back to the base game right so there's three classes that we're apparently dealing with you have the my game class which extends the base game and then there's two sprites so let's first work on the base game and this is the part where you can add the collision in so there's a mix in has collidables that's part of flame it's, uh, it would have taken it So in, in the base game, you just put the mix in has collidables. So the game now knows that it has collidables. To actually assign the collidables to the sprite, use the mix in hitbox. Hitbox. Collidable. And collidable. So we're going to do this for both of them. So now they both have the collision. Then for each of them, because we have this nice hitbox here, uh, we're going to add the shape. So hit box rectangle. In geometry, uh, the, the flame geometry. Okay. Okay, it's taking it. Let's also add the hitbox to the south curve. So if I reload it, it should appear with no change it looks exactly the same uh, for debugging purposes i'm actually going to turn on the debugging box so you can see it we'll turn it off later but just so that you have a better idea of what's what's happening with the collision It's uh, flipped, which is why it's hard to see the X position. But there's a rectangular box, and that's how we're going to do the collision detection. Story, we'll have the girl be running onto the scene, and she's going to hit 
this girl from the north and she, uh, unfortunately the girl from the south will disappear as if by magic. So since we're only applying the uh, removal to the south girl, we'll just have the detection be only for the south girl here. So I'm going to set up a Boolean for collision. I'll set it to false. And let's make her move first. Let's see. So we're shoot her across the screen at one pixel a cycle. Okay, the collision detection is not enabled, so she's gonna pass right over the girl. On a collision. So it's a Boolean variable, a uh, collision right here. And then when she we just set up right here. And we'll just remove her as if disappearing by magic. Not dead, just transported. Nonviolent demo. So now she's running across. Hopefully, she hits. She disappears so because we remove the sprite from the screen let's run it again it's going across and when they intersect she gets she disappears so let's remove the debug Boom. Now, you know how to work with collisions. So you could set a bunch of different sprites on the screen. Just open up a, an asset pack. You can get this from online. Uh, there's free and paid for. Uh, this one is paid for, but it was pretty cheap. And put the assets on here, put the sprites, and then have it take some action based on the individual sprite that it hits. You can build the maps with a tile maps and their software to help you do this, for example, tile D. Uh, and then you can create your the background much lo longer and have the girl walk across the screen and it, it will, you can make it scroll and then you can place all your assets on the on the screen for her to pick up or jump over or take some action based on this. So it'd be a lot of fun. We'll be covering more of these tips, so please subscribe to the channel and you can get updates as we release new videos in the coming weeks. Uh, if you like the video and you want to see more like this, give this one a like and then we'll make more of that type that you like. Have a great day.